Hey guys, welcome to another non-vape related video on my channel. I hope you enjoy. Just because it's not vape related doesn't mean I'm not going to be vaping. Mm-mm. I have fried yellow cake by Top Class E-Juice in here on my Coupe But anyways, today's video is going to be an unboxing of my October Sephora Play Box. Now I know I'm a little late, it's November, but I was on my honeymoon at the end of October, which is when I get my Play Box. So if you don't know about Sephora, then where have you been? <laughs> you might be living under a rock. Sephora is a makeup store. I have one about 35 minutes away from where I live. I never have gone into it. I, I just started like getting into Sephora over the summer and I was always using drugstore makeup and I just started getting into higher end makeup and oh my god, it's a wonderful, wonderful world. And a long time ago, I signed up on the waiting list for the Sephora Play Box, which is a subscription box. I love subscription boxes. You may know my example subscription box. That's my vape related subscription box. I have a couple other subscription box, but Play is one of my favorites it's by Sephora so it's a subscription box for $10.99 a month I believe and you get about five or six full-size samples you can customize to what you want if you just want like uh, like face stuff or hair stuff skin stuff so it's completely customizable I left mine really wide open because I've never really dove into the realm of high-end products beauty products before so I get pretty much every end of the spectrum here and my past Sephora play boxes this is only my third one are on my other channel but I decided to integrate my other channel and this channel together so let's just enough talking let's get into this so I'm just a little nervous because this has been primarily a vaping related channel up until recently where I decided to uh, mix my two channels together so I'm like hoping it gets a good response like I said from the beginning it's not vape related so if if you're only here to see a vaping then you don't want to watch this one but I mean I will be vaping throughout this video anyways I did take a peek at it and I already used the points the extra points card at Sephora myself and this is the informational packet of all the goodies that you get in your box just like to know more about them and stuff and also when I'm done unboxing this I'm going to talk about some products I have here behind me that I bought my like sort of not my first my first ever Sephora purchase was the mist and fix spray and then a metallic eyeshadow by Kat Von D. So here is the little goodie bag. This is the design. Each bag so far that I've gotten has had a different design each month. This says lipstick and chill hashtag Sephora play. So let's check it out. And normally I would talk about last month's products and tell you guys what I really enjoyed from that, but I can't really remember because I'm literally using like all of it right now. So I can't really remember off the top of my head. Plus that's on the other channel so you wouldn't really know what I was talking about so I'll just start off and oh my god look at this little pump bottle it's so cute so this is all-in-one egg mellow cream huh too cool for school London New York what is it all-in-one collagen infused firming moisturizer apply appropriate amount to face oh this is a facial one I, I am so actually I'm super excited to try this out uh, my skin's really sensitive on my face so I only ever like use a little bit on my face to see how it reacts but I've been wanting to get like a nighttime face moisturizer because my face is just really dry lately I've noticed after like applying my makeup that it's just when you look up close it's really dry so from far away like we are now it's good but if I was to zoom in there'd be some dry spots all right what's next this is Verb Leave In Mist Detangle, Defrizz, and Conditioning. I am never, like, I am never against hair products. Like, I am, give me all of the hair products for a dry damaged hair because blonde bleaching hair is so damaging. And I'm naturally a dirty blonde. Like, you can see my roots. I'm naturally blonde, just not platinum blonde. So anything that can help my hair, like, I will load it in. And if any of you guys at home have tried these, let me know down in the comments below what you think because I haven't tried any of these and I'm really excited to give these a try. So two for two, definitely excited to try these first two products. Let's see what is next. Um, oh, this is, it always comes with a smelly. Uh, it's probably something you can 
a smelly, that's what I just wanna call it. It always comes with some sort of perfume and I'm sure you can always customize it if you didn't want perfumes, but I totally am obsessed with perfumes and scented lotions, so. Oh, I'm gonna have to spray it. It smells really good. What is this? Tom Ford Orchid Soil. Probably not pronouncing that right. It's S-O-L-E-I-L. -E oh my gosh, mmm. I love anything. Ooh, that's so good. I love anything flowery. Mmm. I and I I personally like strong perfumes. I know some people probably don't like them, but I like strong perfumes and strong cologne. I don't know why. I just I love walking by people who smell strongly and not stinky, like BO. Like I'd rather smell your super strong perfume than if you like smell like a cigarette or BO. Not to mention I'm obsessed with tiny miniature things as some of you may know from my vape videos and reviewing tiny mods. So I love these little tiny sample perfumes. All right, what's next? Ooh, this is Smashbox. It doesn't say the color on the sample, but I'm definitely, this is probably a lip gloss, if I'm not mistaken, a lip gloss. I am weird too, I smell products, sorry. That doesn't smell like anything and actually all I can really smell is the perfume I sprayed. So this is the color of the Smashbox lip gloss. And I'm, I'm not picky, I'm not a picky person, so I would definitely wear this, I mean probably. Okay, next we have, what is this? Intense Matte Lip Plus Cheek Pencil. <gasps> Weird, I have never seen one of this in Mini Bell. This is, that's the color. So this is a lip pencil and a cheek pencil, whatever the heck that is, like use it for blush, I don't know, and this is the color. Also, excuse my nails, I had to take off the gel polish that I had, so I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to gel polish because my fingers started blistering this time. A few weeks ago, I had acrylics and gel on, and I thought it was the acrylics, and they were itching and peeling, and so we took the acrylics off, and had I had nothing on my nails for two weeks, and then I just went, when they were healed, I went back and got just gels, because we thought the acrylics were the problem, and then my nails started blistering, so they started having a different reaction, and so I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to gel polish, because they just, they, like, I don't know if you guys, I'll show you. <laughs> Look away if you're squeamish, because they're not really healed. But look at them. That's what happens. And it's only this hand. This hand didn't have a bad reaction, but I decided to take it off of both of my hands. So my nails are kind of gnarly right now. All right, and the last product in here is Pure Revival Peel. Mm. Oh, what? So this is a skin peel? Is part of skin, ooh, it's got awards and stuff. Directions, apply to dry skin, leave on for 10 seconds, then massage in a circular motion, rinse off with warm water, use two to three times a week, gentle for sensitive skin. Me, sensitive skin. Cute little bottle. Interesting, kind of scared of it. Like I would, I'm sooner would rather use the moisturizer that I got versus this Revival Peel just because my skin is so sensitive and anything peel with my skin uh, kind of scares me. Exfoliates even as it repairs, maximizes absorption of nutrients from other skincare products, primes your skin to create perfect canvas for your makeup. Hmm, well, I might, uh, I don't know, like I, I want to try it, but I'm so afraid because my skin is so sensitive. Like I'm, I can't put Neosporin on my face. I can't put gel polish on my fingernails. Like, so anything like this is kind of scary to me. I, like I said, I'm going to use the moisturizer first and see how that goes. Use that little sample moisturizer. And then maybe, maybe I'll use this. Maybe I'll give it to my mom to try out. So that was everything in my box. And then like I said earlier, this is a fold out informational of all of the products you got. Um, cool factors, how to use, about the ingredients for every one of the products. So I'm gonna, let me, where's the peel? About the ingredients. One of the active ingredients in Pure Revival's peels is AC11, which is derived from cat's claw, a tropical vine that grows in the Amazon. When applied to the skin, AC11 is known to help gently exfoliate and care for environmental and sun damage. Hmm. Well, we'll we'll see. Just kind of like uh, you know about the. Uh. 
All right, so let me talk about some of my purchases. So if you'd seen any of my other Sephora videos, I just started purchasing because, oh my God, it's expensive, but it's worth it. I'm starting to feel that it's worth it, especially with the liquid foundation. So this is the liquid foundation that I use and I have on right now, and I'm such a dork. I've had this for a while, but I kept the box on purpose to make a video like this for it to show you guys just in case you were interested so this is the Too Faced Born This Way in nude and I got help picking out this color I, I went to Sephora and they did this thing where they like color IQ'd my forehead my cheek and my neck and then came up with the best brand for me and then also um, gave me the different shades and tested the different shades to see what I liked so nude was fine for me and I'm just now reading on this box actually infused with coconut water alpine rose and hyalu hyaluronic hyaluronic acid hmm an oil free foundation awesome so yep this is the one I use and now I can actually throw away the box because I finally got to show you guys and it comes like this and it is pretty expensive but I literally use one pump for this kind of coverage and then like one and a half if I have any like blemishes or really like red skin day but I never need more than one and a half I've never used one I did because I was figuring out like how much how much of it I would need because I've been using drugstore makeup forever and I've used a lot of that I, at once and so I was while I was figuring out how much I would need of this I just I don't need two pumps two pumps is way too much for my face and then another thing oh my god this oh my god I'm obsessed this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz skinny brow pencil in the color soft brown because my eyela my eyelashes my eyebrow hair is very blonde blonder than my roots I would uh, it looks like to me and uh, save the box but I've been using this forever still kind of not 100% on how I should do my brows but I'm trying I'm still learning they're not even they're not the same size I've never colored my brows before but I love this thing so one end is the actual pencil and it's just a rollout pencil like that and then the other side is the spoolie to comb your brow hairs I love this I think I I love this more than anything because I've tried a couple different brow things. I've tried, um, what is that kind of stuff? It came in a little container and I like scoop it off a brush, like brow paste. I don't know. I've tried that. I've tried a brow pencil and this is like a little wax brow pencil, it seems like. And I just, I love it. I don't even know if it's wax. I'm kind of actually just talking out of my ass right now. But it like, you know. I don't know. It's not pencil pencil. So I actually love those two things and I will be rebuying them once they're out and I have been told that they'll last a lot longer from viewers and people that I tweet at on Twitter that use products from Sephora. So my two newest products that I've gotten and I'm really loving this. I'm actually wearing it right now. This is Urban Decay's uh, eyeshadow and this is the color Baked. <laughs> I wish I was and it's just a gorgeous I love gold eyeshadows and it's just a gorgeous gold color it's like the goldest color goldiest goldenest I don't know color I could find at Sephora by myself if you know of like a super pretty gold one I heard of this one and I have no idea where it's from what brand or anything but the the name is gold deposit and it looks so pretty so I want to find that because I, I love gold eyeshadows even though I don't wear eyeshadow often anymore and then this was my next purchase and I'm kind of mm, about this this is the Kat Von D uh, locket concealer cream in the shade light nine neutral I think I was going to get the 11, but they didn't have it. When I used like the sampler one, I, it was the 11 and then they didn't have it, so I went with the nine. But I really like the bottle of this, but I'm on the fence about it because I do use concealer and it's like, it has the wand underneath my eyes for my dark circles and on my cheeks for the red and any like pimples I might have. But where I have wrinkles under my eyes, it kind of cakes up in my wrinkle. Like I have like <laughs> one big wrinkle under my eye and it cakes up there like when I look closely. And uh, any concealer I've tried, which have all been drugstore concealers before this one, have done that same thing. So I was hoping this didn't do it. And maybe this is just too like thick of a concealer. Again, I'm such a noob when it comes to uh, high-end makeup or makeup in general. Like I just put it on my face and pretend like I know what I'm doing. 
so if you have any suggestions for like a good like coverage but lightweight concealer let me know I'd really appreciate it I think the next one I'm gonna try is um, oh, crap what is it the tape something or another I saw it on YouTube so I want to give that one a try as well but uh, that's my Sephora video I know this is kind of run a little long but like I could talk forever about makeup so I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more videos like this or cooking videos I also will be doing product videos pet videos and vape videos of course you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram Twitter or Facebook I do have a sec Ooh, no I don't. I don't have a second video. I don't have a second YouTube channel anymore. See, I get like really set in my, this is how I do my outro. <laughs> okay, where was I? Yeah, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, this is not a vape video, so I just, I guess I wouldn't mention Casa, but I kind of still want to mention Casa because this is, oh God, this is horrible. This is going horrible. I didn't plan this out. I did not plan out the ending very well, guys. Um, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed, and I know that my audience is majorly male, so probably not going to get a lot of views on this video because I only have like 20% of my audience is female, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I'm, I'm rambling because I don't know how to end this video because it's not a traditional video like I'm used to putting on this channel. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed, and I said all that stuff already. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye!